Hi, this is uh, Matthew, he's 31 years old from Exeter. He's just come to the end of a four week course with us. First diagnosed with structural hyperkyphosis following a injury at the gym, so do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so um, uh, I've always noticed that my back has sort of been um, rounded forward, particularly in the sort of shoulder thoracic region. Um, and my mum took me to the doctor when I was sort of an early teenager, and they said I would, I would grow out of it. Um, it didn't really cause me too much discomfort at the time, but um, I didn't grow out of it. Um, and then, so sort of more recently, mid to late 20s, caused me a bit more discomfort, a bit more pain um, on a day to day basis, but I was doing a lot of sport at the same mm -hmm. time. Um, and I ended up getting an injury, and as, as part of that, I ended up having an x ray. Um, and I was referred then to a consultant who recommended that I had some spinal fusion surgery. Um, which I didn't want. Obviously, he wants to avoid. Yeah, that. I wanted yeah. to avoid the surgery, and I sort of discussed it with him, sort of at quite a lot of length. Mm -hmm. um, and he sort of he didn't recommend this particular course, but he did say that there, there were you know the shot methods and things that I could try. Um, so I did a little bit of my own research, and I ended up coming here. Cool. So before before you came to us, and um, um, whilst obviously in discussion with your consultant, was there any sort of treatment that you tried, any other physiotherapy or any other sort of sport related or even exercise related therapy that you tried? So um, I always, uh, so I did a lot of weightlifting mm -hmm. in the gym and I always uh, tried to sort of, I'd say self-medicate in that way, so yeah. I tried and do a lot of exercises that seemed to open up the curve. Yeah. Um, and tried to sort of strengthen the upper back muscles and things like that. Um, obviously, once I got injured, that had to stop mm -hmm. and the curve started to get a bit worse again. Um, I did have a, a sort of 12 week round of physiotherapy yeah. through the NHS, mm -hmm. um, which, whilst sort of useful, didn't really give me enough exactly. practical tools. Um, to be able to make a big difference, mm -hmm. um, it was more a, a case of being able to get a bit more pain relief at the end of the day. Sure. And that's the important thing is you, because it's not a condition that you can necessarily cure, it's something yeah. that you need to be able to learn to self medicate properly and manage with sort of appropriate exercise, which obviously hopefully we've given you here. So, how did you actually hear about the clinic and how did you come straight through to us? Um, I think it was actually my mother who, after I told her about my consultation, uh, did some internet research yeah. and uh, suggested there was this place in London. Um, so I had a look at your website, mm -hmm. um, I think I gave you a phone call and asked a lot of questions on the phone Brilliant. and then booked in for a consultation to see see what you said. Okay. Um, so yeah, it was, it was literally a, a Google search. I mean, you were coming from a sporting background and you yeah. weightlifting and your previous, you were growing before. Yeah. Coming and learning sort of very specific exercises might, on the face of it, not seem so daunting because some of them are not quite as high intensity as your previous exercise before. But it is that sort of constant and that repetition that gets the, the, it's the targeted muscle though that really does make the difference to the sort of the way that you present and things. I have been very impressed um, by the sort of how much hands on therapy there is. Mm -hmm. um, I was sort of um, maybe a bit. Uh, bit apprehensive about it being class-based therapy, yeah. but it seems like I've always had probably half an hour to an hour of one-on-one -on -one time mm -hmm. almost every day throughout the course. Yeah. Uh, I think almost everyone else has had that as well, whether that's simply been a bit of massage to release some sore muscles, or whether it's been specifically targeting yeah. exercises or stretches. It's been really useful. Perfect. Brilliant. Um, okay, so last one. Um, if there was somebody out there, same situation to you, any advice that you'd give to them? Um, come in for a consultation. Seriously, um, if, in, in all seriousness, um, do, do your own research yeah. and use the internet, go to the library, get some books out, mm -hmm. read up about uh, the muscles, read up about the tendons, read up about the bones, see what's going on. Um, and, and sort of make your own informed decisions so that when you come somewhere like this or you go to the doctor, you can make the most, of, make the most of that because you know sort of what, what things should be like. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks very much.